there Pisces this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts how are you guys so this reading will be focused on unspoken feelings between you and your person whoever it is that you are thinking about what's really in their heart for you I'll be focused on these three decks here the Twin Flame Journey Oracle by Mystic Moon Oracles and of course you do not have to identify with a Twin Flame connection that's just the name of the deck and then we will also pull some cards from the Unspoken Messages Volume 2 deck by Fire Witch Tarot, and I'll clarify everything with my 10 Yellow Tarot deck. All right, guys, so let's get into it. Let's see what it is that you need to know here. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. You could be cross-watching for Pisces as well. So what's the vibe? What do we need to know when it comes to this connection? All right. We have understanding here. Maybe there could be a mutual understanding between you and this individual. You know, about the connection, about maybe how things ended or whatever is happening in the connection now. Communication. So if you have been thinking about this individual, maybe there has been no communication in the 3D. You know, there could be some unfinished business here. Maybe the last time you saw each other... You just felt like there was so much more to talk about, but it just didn't happen. It just was not expressed. Okay, so let's see what else. We are, after all, focused on unspoken feelings here. Divine Feminine coming through. Either the Divine Feminine is waiting for communication, or it could be a Divine Masculine here who is thinking of communicating with you. Okay, so could go either way we have a third party and then we have the twin flame card coming through so obviously again take it if you feel you're on a twin flame journey but it does seem here that part of the reason why there is no contact or communication it might have had something to do with third party involvements here okay so let's grab those words let's see what needs to come through this could have been a very complicated situation as well. All right, so what are those unspoken feelings? So Pisces, you might be in separation from your twin flame. It, again, might have had something to do with an additional party here that shouldn't have been there, that should not have been a factor, or just got in the way of the two of you being together. Oh, wow. Look at this. Okay, so it says, my beloved twin flame, I'm coming home. Do you see that, guys? So even though we're not really focused specifically on twin flames, that is coming through for some of you who might really have needed this message to present itself. Let's grab another message for Pisces. All right. I have an addiction I need to heal before we come into union. Maybe you know what that addiction is, Pisces. You know, maybe it could be substance abuse or a, some sort of addictive behavior, of course. It could have been drugs or alcohol, whatever the case might have been. I feel like grabbing one more. So they feel the need to just not communicate right now. Let me grab one more here for Pisces. I find it difficult to press send in my emails to you. And then it says drafted. So again, there's a blockage in communication. That's so interesting. But this could also be telling us why there is no communication right now because they feel the need to focus on themselves they need to be able to focus on their own healing. So I kind of feel that that's really important for this person. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify with tarot here. And, you know, the third party reference, it might not even be a person. It could be whatever this addiction represents. That could have gotten in between the two of you. All right, let's grab some tarot. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Pisces. What do we need to know? 
All right. We've got the Ace of Cups. First and foremost, guys, I feel if this is a twin flame that you're focused on, they still love you. They still feel drawn to you. And they're ultimately feeling like it's not really the end, even if you are in separation. They know that someday that there is the possibility that you guys can find your way back to each other. But, you know, I love how the Ace of Cups can also represent self-care and self-healing. You know, and that certainly is referenced right there. I have an addiction. I need to heal before we come into union. So before this can happen, they need to be comfortable in where they're at on their healing journey. And talk about healing. Look at that. Four of Swords. So that's huge coming through here in this message. So the the distance, the separation, the fact that there is no communication happening right now in the 3D anyway, it's just a temporary separation, I feel, for this one. You know, and going back to this card, my beloved twin flame, I'm coming home. For some of you, maybe you shared a home, you live together. You guys might have talked about this. They'll be back. That is what I'm getting. They will be back. We've got the chariot. Some of you guys might be thinking of cancer here. So I feel... The reason for the separation, the reason why they're not speaking up has a lot to do with what it is that they're dealing with in their own life. So they might actually be doing you a favor by not communicating right now. So even though you guys haven't talked, there's a lot that they want to say to you, but the timing, the timing's off. But that could be a blessing in disguise for this one. Yeah, look at that, Nine of Wands. Maybe they recognize that they hurt you as a result of their own behaviors and their own issues. But this is a situation that I see, guys, that will rectify itself somehow. That you guys have the possibility of finding your way back to each other. Yeah. And then we've got the Six of Wands. You know, it's like after going through this long journey towards healing and kind of learning the lesson behind why you guys had to go your separate ways, I feel the end result here looks really good that through this person's healing, it keeps coming through in the messages that they will be successful, that they will be able to get to the other side of whatever this experience has been for them. Yeah, kind of get that for them. High Priestess. So we do have the Divine Feminine card right there. So I feel Divine Feminine, even though your masculine might not be interacting with you in real life, you know, telepathically. Again, there could be a lot of communication going on there. And, you know, maybe there's a part of you that feels they will return, that they will be back. You know, that could be the understanding right here. You know, for some of you, maybe you knew exactly why you had to leave each other's lives and knowing that maybe someday you would find each other again. I'm just kind of picking that up for some of you. So intuitively, I feel my feminines, you know that your masculine will return. That's what I've got. All right, guys, so if you are interested in your own reading, that info is down below in the description box, and I'll link all of the decks you see here as well. Thank you so much, Pisces. I'll see you next time.